I think the light switch is over by your bedroom door. Let's play a game. You have to try and find me. That's a one-of-a-kind cuckoo clock, made by Joe himself. Nope. <laughs> You're getting colder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there. Cricket's the name. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Have you ever heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Peter Pan, Dumbo, or Alice in Wonderland? They're all in this book. Would you like me to read you a story? Uh, <clears throat> I kind of need some help. <clears throat> on a dark and rainy night a long, long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, in a quaint little cottage, deep within a beautiful enchanted forest, there lived a... <sighs> Oh, uh, <laughs> pardon me. It's just that I've been reading these stories for so many years that... Say, I have an idea. I'll pick out each of the happy ending pages, then you can guess which story to put them back into. <laughs> sort of like a game. Ah, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now there's a happy ending for you. Snow White and the Prince live happily ever after. In the happy ending to Dumbo, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is finally reunited with his mother, Mrs. Jumbo. In this happy ending, Alice travels to Wonderland, but makes it back home and without losing her head. In the happy ending to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is chased off by Tick Tock the Crocodile. Peter lives on as feisty as ever, and he never, ever has to grow up. Better put this one on the shelf. At least until someone can shed a little light on this situation. Well, as I live and breathe, the Blue Fairy. Sir Jiminy, you are an official conscience entrusted with the duty of helping others choose between right and wrong. Did you do something wrong tonight? No! Well, I mean, I did tear out these pages, but I was just trying to... I, I mean, it's, it's just a book. Jiminy, once a story is read, it becomes alive in the imagination of the person who heard the story. 
By removing the happy endings, the heroes were left in peril and the villains put in control. Huh, some conscience I turned out to be. My friend and I'll put the pages back. No, no, the villains have already started to change the stories. You are going to have to travel into the stories to fix them. We can do that, m'lady. Uh, I hope. Hello there! Oh! Hello! I'm out, and you're out too! No, I'm not. My name is In. How could you forget that? I live right next door oh, to you. Don't start. I meant our new guests here are out, and you probably want to go in. Inside the stories, that is. Now, why would you want to do that? Haven't you heard? All of the villains have taken over! Well, perhaps our guests can help. What do you mean? Help the villains? No, no. Helping the villains would be wrong. Our guests must do what's right and help the storybook heroes. Oh, yeah. But before we let you enter, we must make sure that you know what the heroes look like. Okay, let's all look for Pinocchio. When you find him, point to where he is. Excellent! There's Pinocchio! Now for something a bit more difficult. Let's find TikTok from the story of Peter Pan. There he is! Hey, TikTok, you're late on the rent again. Now let's look for Peter. Here's Peter Pan now! Hi, Pete! Now it's time to search for Jiminy Cricket. Hey, I'm right here. There's Jiminy. I say, that was like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Actually, it was more like trying to find a carved cricket on a wood door, if you want to be precise. Yes. Well, next we have to find Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Alice. Now we must search for another fair maiden by the name of Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? There she is. It's Snow White. Now it's time for you to find Dopey. It's not that nice. I think our guests are doing a wonderful job and you're calling them Dopey. No, 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 no. We're looking for Dopey from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's Dopey. There you go again, making fun of our talented guest. Now it's time to find little Tinkerbell. There you are, Tinkerbell. The light of my life. Now, here's a tricky one. You have to try to find the Cheshire Cat. There's the Cheshire Cat. Now we have to look for Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. There's Grumpy. Oh, he doesn't look happy. You just need to find a few more of our friends, and then you'll be ready to enter the stories. Let's look for Sleepy. Sleepy? Well, what do you know? He's sleeping. There's a big surprise. Now we have to find the white rabbit because he's late for a very important date. There's the white rabbit! Good. Now let's look for Dumbo. There you go again, calling our guests names. There's Dumbo. Now you have to find Doc. Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Try to remember who we work for. Our guest has just proven that they know what all of the storybook heroes look like, and they're ready to enter. We'll swing open and let you go in. But I don't want to go. I meant them! Ooh, well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the door today. Come on! This is gonna be some adventure! Whoa! These things sure look familiar. Hey, they're all from the different stories. Pick one. Well, he's a baby elephant that lives in the circus, and his ears are so big that everyone teases him. Then one day he realizes that his big ears are what makes him special. He can use them to fly. Honest. That's why they call him Dumbo the Flying Elf. Villains and villainesses, please give a nasty cold welcome to Dumbo the Falling Elephant.
I certainly don't remember the circus tent looking this way, but I guess that's what happens when a bunch of clowns take over. Say, Mrs. Jumbo, why the long trunk? Because tonight the audience is filled with villains who just laugh at the most dreadful things. And worst of all, Dumbo can't fly anymore. But the clowns keep forcing him to do his high dive act just so they can keep the audience entertained. Don't worry, Mrs. Jumbo. My friend here is a pretty talented character. We'll find a way to save Dumbo. We just need you to give us a lift. Start by making the clown with the paddle hit the other clown instead of Dumbo. Hey, that looks like a good angle for the cannon. Well, we must be doing something right. Dumbo can fly again. Let's get back to the storybook and make sure he finds his mother. Say, that was pretty swell. You actually saved one of the stories, but there's three more where that came from. Which one do you want to tackle next? Smee, bring me Peter Pan at once. We're going to have a sword fight. But, Captain, Peter Pan always wins. Tonight will be different, Smee. Tonight will be... Different. Hmm, sure sounds like something's rotten in Neverland. Whoa! Ooh. I'll bet the only thing scarier than that big skull is the big guy it used to belong to. Never growing up, eh, Peter? Peter, you bore me. What say you to this? We just call this a win for me, and you can settle in early this evening and retire. Forever! Retire? Never! Not while I can still hold this blade steady enough to run you through! Pick it up, and use it to run this old codfish through the gizzard! What's this? If you've got a taste for cold steel, then get up here, you scurvy swab! Pick up the sword. Friend of Peter's is no friend of mine! To block Hook, just move your sword to where the shield is! That's it! Turn him around! That's it! Turn him around! There's an opening in the crow's nest! That's it! That's it! Turn him around! If 
One pirate jab first, block. You can hear which side the pirates are coming from. One pirate jabs first, lock him, then jab the other pirate. Alive, you blithering bloom rat! There's nowhere to run! Should you attack an unarmed foe? Things were finally turning in my favor, and then you had to show up. He's used to losing by now! Two stories down, and two to go. What's next? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has one of my favorite happy endings. But I have a feeling things may have changed since the last time I read it. Say, can you help me get out of this thorny situation? That's the stuff. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Ooch! Hmm, not bad. Hmm, not bad. Hmm, not bad. Stuff. Now you just have to move these last two branches out of the way. Just one more branch, and I'm a free band. Well, uh, <clears throat> a free cricket, that is. Hey, you did it! You not only freed me, but you cleared a path to that big, big apple. Hmm. Guess the evil queen's been doing some redecorating.
always wanted to visit the Big Apple. I just imagined it being under better circumstances. Come, my dearie. Just take a bite of this apple. One bite. And then I'll release your seven little friends from my dungeon. Quick! We have to save Snow White before it's too late. Like we're too late. Before Snow White, in my version of the story, there is no prince to save you, and soon the seven dwarves will be joining you in eternal slumber. <laughs> Boy, talk about an unhappy ending. When the last grain of sand falls through this hourglass, my next poisoned apple will be ready. <laughs> Uh-oh, that doesn't give us much time before Old Witchy comes back again. I'm sure you can find something in here to... Here we go. This is it. The potion to create... The potion for sleeping death as you're a... Ah, to make a thunderbolt. Here's something to create a blast of wind. Scream of fright. Magnesium. Wow! Moonstar. Mummy dust. Sting of scorpion. Bacchus elixir. When you're done putting it all of the in... Great! Now we can use Blast of Wind! Dark of Night Cactus Juice Just plain bad stuff Blast of wind. Oh no, she's back. <laughs> Time to put one of the seven dwarves to sleep. Oh no. Now Snow White and one of the seven dwarfs are in eternal slumber. Carnation pet. When you're there you go. Now we can use Thunderbolt. Sunstar. Blast of wind. Thunderbolt. Those are green apples. When you're done putting in all of the ingredients that you want, spark up the fire under the cauldron. I think we got the wrong guy, but it's worth a try. Oh well, I must be on my way. 
Be careful out there. These stories aren't what they used to be. Sting of Scorpion. Dark of Night. Cactus Juice. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Those are green apples. When you're done playing... Wow! Sunstar. Blast of wind. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Eris Elixir. When you're That's the stuff. Well, this is it, my friend. Just one more story. Well, it looks like our next story is Alice in Wonderland. Alice has been on a lot of strange adventures, but she's always managed to keep her head. By order of the Queen, we have orders to be prepared to prepare to remove Alice's head! Boy, those darn villains always seem to know when to chime in, don't they? Oh, dear, no! If I go home without my head, my mother will be so very unhappy with me. Oh, no. This ending has really gone to pieces. Whoa! Alice has got to be around here someplace. Sorry we're a little late. I guess there's not much we can do for you. Oh, of course there is. You can find my body. We have it right here. Oh, good. I'm somewhere in a beautiful maze of bushes. Please hurry. Well, come on, let's get hopping. Who knows how long it'll take to find our way. Your way? There's no way here but the Queen's way. If the Cricket and his friend move, off with their heads! Just follow my voice. It'll lead you right to me. I'm ready to save Alice, if you are. Look around, until you can figure out which entrance Alice's voice is coming from the loudest. Choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Clear away that smut. Stop that Cheshire cat. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Quick. This certainly is a curious garden. <laughs> Good choice! You've got to stop this one, quick! 
clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one. Quick! You've got to stop this one. Watch out! <laughs> Excuse the pun. Please hurry. If we follow the My nose is itching. We'll get out of here. But if we... There you go. That's using your head. Uh, or at least your ears. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. Clear away that smoke. Hey, watch out. Ow! Don't forget about me. Quickly, this way. She's waiting for you. Just keep following my voice. There you go. That's using your head. Uh, or at least your ears. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Hey. Why? <laughs> Excuse the pun. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab Help. that thing before it hits us. Look around, She's until mad. you can figure I'm out which entrance Alice's voice is coming from. Yep, Alice's voice was definitely the loudest from this direction. Stop that Cheshire Cat! You've got to stop this one, quick! I'm all alone, and even... Good work! This path will help us get to Alice. You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Stop that Cheshire Cat! Just follow if we voice. follow the white rabbit, It'll we'll get out of here, right to but me. if we follow... There you go! That's using your head, uh, or at least your ears. Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! Clear away that smoke! Stop that Cheshire Cat! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one! You've got to stop this one! Quick! Are. I'm very surprised at you, though, running off like that, and just when I needed you for support. <laughs> Guess that's why they call this place Wonderland. Come, come, there's no time to waste. We must find the White Rabbit so he can lead us home. <laughs> Hurry, the guards are on their way. Out of the way, I'm late. Here you go, friend. You'll need this paintbrush. Hurry, Down bake there. that rose tree. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Out of the way, I'm late. Good choice. Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before it hits us! You've got to stop this one! Quick! Come Close. on! Paint the roast! Way. 
If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Oh, out of the way, I'm late. Good work! Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! Grab that thing before it hits us! Grab that thing before- oh, Hey, the rose is white. The you know, to distract the guards. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm late, I'm late! Good work! There. Paint the roses. Come, come, there's no time to waste. Way, I'm late, I'm late. Good work! Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. Clear away that smoke! Come Go on, there. paint the roses. You've got to stop this one, quick! You've got to stop this one, quick! I think we're about halfway home! Good choice! Clear away that smoke! Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one! Quick! Clear away that- oh, Hey, the rose is white! You know, to distract the guards! There's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way, I'm Good work! Come oh, on, well, paint the road. If we follow the white rabbit, we'll get out of here. Out of the way, Good choice! Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one! Grab that thing before it hits us! Come oh, on! Paint the roses! Quid. You've got to stop this one! You've got to stop this one! Quick! There's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way. Good choice. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one. Clear away that smoke. Hurry, oh, paint that I rose tree. Queen. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. There's no time to waste. Oh, out of the way. Good choice. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Grab that thing before it hits us. Hurry, oh, paint that I rose tree. Queen. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop this one, quick! Now we're really close to getting home. Oh, out of the way! Good choice! Clear away that smoke! You've got to stop this one, quick! 
Hurry, take that rose tree. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before it hits us. Clear away that smoke. Clear away that smoke. Grab that thing before it hits us. You've got to stop. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Clear away that smoke. Clear away that smoke. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Grab that thing before it hits us. Pay the rose to life, you know, to distract the guards. You've got to stop this one. Quick. Clear away that smoke. It was very nice of you to save me, and my story. Please do drop by again. Wow, you did it! You actually fixed all of the stories. Now we just have to put these pages back in the book, and we're done. Hey, who took all of the happy endings? Not me. I just took this one. I only took one page as well. Take cover. Cover? That's it. Grab the magic storybook. To face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. Take that, you... you... hooligans! Take that, you... you... hooligans! <laughs> That's it. See how that net flew off? Now you can get a clear shot at the mask. Just one more turnbuckle to go! Fire at the net! To shake loose those hooligan pirates! Timber! <sighs> Just two more places to go. Parts of the ship keep the book angled up more. Fire at the nets to shake loose those hooligan pirates. Just one more mass to go. The handle knock the wind out of her sails. Aha! Hooks retreated to Skull Rock. Face the other villains and all. Double draft. 
I hate happy endings. To face the other villains, Pam all... <laughs> Hey, there she goes! Uh oh, she didn't get inside. That's it! Just a few more hits, and that place will be an apple turnover. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Watch out! There are villains. Pan and tilt the book so you can aim the pies and bowling pins back where you want them to go. To face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. The ringmaster looks worn out. Just a few more hits ought to do it. Watch out! There are villains from the other stories off to the side. To hit the clowns at the top, keep the book angled up more! To face the other villains, pan all the way over and click. Try to topple over those big jack-in-the-boxes so they stop firing at them. the other villains, Pam. To hit those playing card soldiers, keep the book and go down more. Hey, there's that mean old Queen of Hearts back there. Try to knock her over. To hit those playing card soldiers, keep the book angled down more. Ah, uh, pan and tilt the book so you can aim the croquet balls back where you want them to go. Yeah. Ha! Uh, pan and tilt the book so you can aim the croquet ball back where you want him to go. To hit those playing card soldiers, keep the book angled down more. She's 
retreating to her topiary. Uh, and that's a statue made out of shrubbery. of that topiary statue, keep the book angled up more. Looks like we put all of the happy endings back, and then some. Yes, that new story is the story of Villain's Night Out. It tells of a cricket who redeems himself and his newfound friend, who saves the heroes of the storybook and becomes the greatest storybook hero ever. Remember, You've saved all the heroes and their endings too. Now you can play in their worlds, many or few. Tonight, your imagination has grown, so I grant you a surprise for the toys that you own. Goodbye, my lady. This game is a lot of fun. It's called Pirate Block. Now let's see, how many players are there? You need to pick a side. Do you want to be a hero or a villain? Now, pick up the coin of the character that you chose. Uh-oh, looks like your opponent is about to capture you. In this game, you get to make small pictures around the edge show all of Bumpy's dance moves. Each one flashes as Bumpy performs that step. If you want to try to keep up with Bumpy, try match a move. Okay, now it's your turn. Now don't pass over those small pictures too quickly, or Bumpy won't have time to perform those dance moves.
What we're trying to do in this game is to help the seven dwarfs get their monsticles in their way. So it's up to you to choose the right dwarf to clear each of the obstacles. almost as easily as he can throw another dwarf. Hey, that's Doc. He's pretty smart, especially when it comes to building things, like bridges. That's Bashful holding the shovel. He may be shy, but there's no holding him back when he's shoveling through a pile of dirt. That's Grumpy. If you think he's grumpy now, whew, just wait till he gets to a rock pile. Now that's Sleepy. He, uh, well, he just sleeps, but that mine tar of his might come in handy. You know, to clear away some debris or something. That's Sneezy. He has the most powerful sneeze I think I've ever seen. You know, <laughs> it just might be strong enough to put out a fire. Now that's Dopey. He's got the hardest head I've ever seen. In fact, his head is so hard, he can ram right through solid wood. Hey, look! You have a lost caterpillar. And you're going to have to help him find his way home. You can turn the top and bottom parts of the maze to help him away to the exit at the very top. Caterpillar made it all the way home. Thanks to you. 